Assalamualaikum and welcome to the uh, numerical sessions for short video sessions for uh, drill problems of chapter number 5 which is related to conductors and uh, currents and uh, insulators and semiconductors. So let's discuss drill 5.1, a very trivial one but few of my dear students still somehow face problems in uh, solving this very simple issue so as a policy uh, I don't leave anyone out so uh, let's discuss so in the problem we, we have been discussed we have been given this current density J in milliamperes remember milliamperes per meter square okay. so this is something that should be rem remembered in mind in your mind that j is in milliamperes all right so in part a we have to find j at some point p and the coordinates are given very trivial case let me call it jp and uh, the total current which is coming out through this region all right again a very sim simple problem so let's first discuss what this region would look like so this region is definitely a cylindrical cylinder whose radius is 3 whose top is at 2.8 whose bottom is at 2 and can we are considering the whole cylinder not a truncated one because the values of phi is from 0 to 2 pi now these kind of things should be uh, clear to you now so now we are asked to find the total current which is coming out of this circular band if j is this so let's try to solve it part a very simple given the value the uh, ex, uh, vector field expression for j just replace the value of p and this and you will get the answer so i did not even bother to you know solve it just you can put the values and get the answer but remember that the answer will be in milliamperes per meter uh, square so part b we know that if we know the current density we can find out the current since this region generally the expression is this equation number one remember but since this region and through which we are asked to find the current coming out is a closed region so there is no harm if i uh, use this small circle and the integral to ju just emphasize that this surface is a closed surface indeed it does not uh, really matter actually so uh, we know that this closed surface has got circular cylindrical region top region bottom region so this integral since for each region the value of ds the formula for ds will be changed so we have to break this closed loop integral into three open loop integral open integrals surface integrals all right so now since we know that we uh, have the j that is the current density whose cord whose uh, components are a rho and a phi only we know that a rho lies in the horizontal plane a phi also lies in the horizontal plane so component horizontal component plus another horizontal component is definitely going to give us a resultant current density which will be on horizontal plane so any uh, any vector which is perpendicular to horizontal plane in cylindrical coordinate system is definitely a z small a z so uh, the formula for uh, d s for the top and formula for d s for the bottom they both are going to have d z in it so this j is on horizontal plane this ds is perpendicular to that plane so we don't need to evaluate this same as the case with this one so only this integral remains just replace the values of j here and for ds you know this is on the cylindrical surface obviously for this uh, the formula as we all know ds for rho equals to constant because over this cylindrical surface rho is constant this is uh, formula is rho d phi dz since rho is constant remember there is no d rho here and the direction is zero so same 
uh, it has been replaced here evaluate the dot product definitely this term will remain after taking the dot product this term will be zeroed out so just do the necessary maths variable for integrations are phi r phi and z so all the other entities like rho and the sten are constant can be taken out of the integral sign rho square into rho rho cubed just take the integration do the integration do the maths and you are going to get this big number but remember this if you if you if you would forget that this is in milliampere so you may uh, fall in a pit and write amperes here so 3257 ampere is a huge current all right so remember that since this was in milliamperes so definitely the answer which we are going to get is in milliamperes which is approximately equals to the answer of your book which is 3.26 amperes so i hope this helps assalamu alaikum